In this little town lives a kitten named Cookie, his big brother Pudding, and their little sister Candy. Lots of other kittens live here too. Cookie, Candy, and Pudding, kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Treasures of ancient Egypt. One day, Dad had picked Pudding up from school. Hey, Pudding, welcome home. How is school today? I have a homework project for the weekend. I have to prepare a report on ancient Egypt. How interesting. Nah, not really. How much is there to say about Egypt? There's pyramids and sand and that's all. <laughs> Don't forget the palm trees. <laughs> ancient Egypt is actually quite a fascinating subject. For one thing, the ancient Egyptians used to believe cats brought them good fortune. Really? And the pyramids contain precious treasures that are very difficult to find because it's easy to get lost in all the tunnels. Cool! Well, how about tomorrow we all take an expedition to ancient Egypt? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mm, somebody turn the alarm off. We don't have to get up for school today, it's the weekend. Wake up, kids. Did you forget we're exploring ancient Egypt today? Oh, <laughs> Mommy! You look really beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. In fact, the most beautiful woman in ancient Egypt was considered to be Queen Cleopatra. That picture is really funny. The head's sideways, but the body's front ways. That's because they had certain rules for drawing. Everyone had to obey the rules. Drawing differently was not allowed. Whoever was more important was drawn bigger in size. For example, a warrior was drawn bigger than a common Egyptian. And the most important and highest of all was the pharaoh, the king of Egypt. In fact, the pyramids were built for pharaohs in the first place. Inside of them, there are chambers full of treasure and mummies. And here's a map for you. Awesome! In ancient Egypt, they wrote in what is called hieroglyphics instead of words and letters. Oh, it's hieroglyphics, right? Yes, it's a kind of writing that uses pictures. Look for the good fortune hieroglyphs. They will show you the way. Awesome! <laughs> Come on, let's find the treasure right now! <laughs> right, Mom said we need to find the hieroglyph for good fortune. But what do they look like? Uh, how about like this? The ancient Egyptians thought that cats brought good fortune. Mommy said that, remember? I think I know how to find it. Let's follow these cat pictures on the map. But that's how we're supposed to find the treasure. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, hooray! We finally found the treasures of the pyramid. I can't wait to see it! Come on, huh? let's open it! Hold on, huh? who exactly is that lying in my huh? bed? Hmm? <laughs> 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 Hi, Grandpa! Why is your entire body covered with toilet paper? I'm not your grandfather. I'm a real live Egyptian mummy. <laughs> and I'm guarding the Pharaoh's treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Run! <laughs> <laughs> Get up, dear Mummy Grandpa. <laughs> Our exciting exploration of ancient Egypt has come to a close. It was very fun and interesting. Now I'll have so much to say at report time. Thanks so much. But there's something you forgot. Don't my little Egyptologist want to find out what's inside the treasure chest? Yes, I carved those for you. Out of wood, ouch. So you'll remember that cats are lucky. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy, Daddy, and Grandpa spent the rest of the day pretending to be ancient Egyptians with the kittens, who saw that any topic is interesting if you make learning fun. <laughs> Thank you.